Welcome to the channel. My name is Bombo. This video, I'm going to tell you why there's a certain upgrade that's really necessary if you own or planning to own a Speed Twin 1200. If you want an idea for your next upgrade for your bike, this video is for you. The Triumph Speed Twin 1200 from the factory comes with no radiator guard at all. The radiators are actually exposed. And normally it's not really Triumph's fault because a lot of motorcycle companies are actually manufacturing their bikes like that. The problem is I've owned this bike for just a few months and I already saw some debris, they're stuck on the radiator and actually some of the fins were already bent so the need to have for a radiator guard for me was a no-brainer and if you have the same issue let me know in the comments below because you know we love our motorcycles i mean we spend a lot of time and we just look at it how gorgeous it is and then you see little blemish and you know what i mean that being said bro motorcycles sent me this product to see if i like it and i tell you it solves the problem and besides that it actually makes the bike look a lot cooler out of the box it comes with the guard and you have two spacers and an adhesive strip that's made of foam and i'll tell you later on in this video what the foam is for also i'll put the link in their website in the description below so if you want to check them out do your own research have had it. Let's talk about the quality of this product. Simply put, it's made of quality materials. You can tell that I actually spent time and effort researching and developing and designing this guard. My favorite feature is the badging. So Brogue Motorcycles actually makes several radiator guards for different kind of motorcycles and each one have their own badging. For this specific one, you'll have a Speed Twin badging on the lower right. It's cut to precision. It looks really cool. You can tell that they really just thought about designing this. They just didn't slap and put together a guard and sell it to the mass media. Before we install this to the bike, there's some things we gotta do first. Remember that foam strip that I was talking about earlier on? What you need to do is cut it into four different pieces and then stick it on to the top and the bottom of the radiator guard. One to the left, one to the right, you get the point. What it does is it serves as a bumper so when your bike actually vibrates, it prevents scratches to your radiator guard. And that's it, that's what it is, it's just a bumper. Once you do that, then you're ready to install the bike. Now I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on how to install it because the installation is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is remove the two bolts that it's right in front of you. It's attached to the radiator guard. Remove those two bolts and then this is the most important piece. You got to pay attention to this one. You have to put the spacer first and then you put the guard. Then you put the screw on. Do not, and I tell you again, do not use the spacer as a washer because I almost did that. The reason being, one, you won't have a space in between the guard and the radiator. But the other part is, as soon as you start to tighten the screw, you'll feel that because there's no gap, you will bend the guard itself. Luckily, I caught on to that and I didn't bend it. So remember, this is your radiator. You put the spacer first, then the guard, and then you bolt it on. Tighten up. I suggest you use a Loctite, but you really don't have to, but it's good to go. Now, do I recommend adding a radiator guard to your bike? Absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Because just a few months, like I said, there's already debris on my radiator. So yes, definitely at a minimum, you gotta get radiator guards. Now, when it comes to the Brogue Motorcycles product, which we talked about in this video, and I tell you, it's worth considering. So like I said, links in the description, check them out, do a little bit of research, but I highly recommend it because of the build quality, the customized badging, and also at the same time, it protects your bike. So it does serve two purpose. One is to protect your bike, and the second one, it makes your bike a whole lot of cooler. It does really look cool. Now, if you were on a fence before watching this video about getting a guard for your radiator, 
I hope this video helped you make that decision. Riding these motorcycles, man, especially the Speed Twin, it's just such an experience. Now, the problem sometimes we have is when we go on those faster speeds and the wind becomes a problem, I made a video about small adjustments you can do to your bike that will improve the ride quality where you can actually ride longer and enjoy the moment. If you wanna watch that video, I'll have it up in the screen. Watch that next. That's all I got for this video. My name is Bombo. If you like this content, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.